Eight. Yeah, what do you like to do? I like to play ball and video games. Cool, what kind of games do you do? I get A's and B's, sometimes C's, I get C's and specials such as art and science. What's your favorite food? Tacos and macaroni. Who's your favorite basketball player? Kobe. What's some things you like to do with your dog? Um, just spend time with them. And um, I like to go on vacation with her to the Boston Aquarium, and then I forgot where else I'm going. But yeah, I'm going to the Boston Aquarium. What's your favorite song by your dad? And how did it go? Taco Bell. I forgot how it go. Taco Bell. You like going to parks with your dad? Yes, yeah, he helps me. When I go, when I go to my games. For your dad to be your coach. Yes. Because I know a lot of stuff, and he's been teaching Dante, so I would already be on track. What's the best thing about your dad? That he goes to work to take care of me. No, but what's the best thing that you like? That your dad cares about you. Yes. He's good. He actually just had a like a MCAS type of thing at school recently, so he's kind of a little nervous about that. But he's doing good. I'm. He's getting for me. He's excited for me to start coaching him. Um, normal dad stuff, dressing alike. Um. Playing video games, play the 2K, doing laundry with him, and just just talking to him, just you know, just being around him. Well, he lives with me. I have full custody of him. I have full custody of him since I was since he was two. Um, so every day is, is a blessing to be able to have that and just be around him every day. I don't take it for granted at all. So. I think he thinks I'm funny. I think he thinks. Um, I'm talented. He likes he likes my music. As far as the, the, the songs I let him listen to, like Taco Bell, it's his favorite song. Um, I think he knows that I work hard to everything that I have. I try to get, be the best example for him. No, nobody's perfect, but he sees me as you know. I hope he sees me as a good person. I think his energy, like. He's always excited. He always asking questions, and I remember doing that as a kid. And it's like he's always got something to talk about. So he's outgoing. He's he's you know he's outgoing. What's the hardest thing about being a dad? I think the hardest thing about being a dad is trying to balance out being a provider and actually physically being there. You know, obviously I have to work. You know, so I pride myself on trying to. F- Finding a balance between working and actually being there for him. I bring him to school every morning. I mean, other days that I work in the afternoon, you know, Boo's there to pick him up too. So I don't feel like he's ever, there's, ever, there's never been a time where I've never missed, I've never been, not been there. So I think the scariest thing is time, trying to beat time and, and, and not knowing, you know, with everybody dying, just not knowing when, when what's next and just the fact that if I have dreams about you know waking up in the middle of the night and just not being there sometime I don't know how it happens but it just feels like me trying to be this perfect dad and, and I know no one's a perfect parent but just that time period like I just wake up in a cold sweat and I just think about how did I not how was I not there him and his sister talking like remember when dad wasn't there so I guess that's the scariest part Um, this EP, which is my 12th project, is called Lie to Me, which is um, abbreviated to loyalty is everything. I feel like a lot of people say they love you, a lot of people say they're down with you, but until something happens, you know. Um, the cover of the EP, me and Vega Productions, Glasshouse Films, um, it was just a... Everybody knows Ja Rule is my favorite artist, so it was just me paying homage with my first EP two years ago. It was called I'm Not a Gangsta EP, um, and it was I'm Not Gonna Allow No More. 
got to stop trying to save. And it was basically my situation with my, with my BM. So this conversation this time around was, I felt like a lot of people turned their back on me, whether it was music or in life, you know, regardless whether it was with my situation with my BM or how I was raising my son, you know, people I was surprised, you know. So it was actually my conversation kind of with God, just letting him know, you know, that's one person you can always trust. So I kind of went to him with all my, you know, situations, whether they was direct or indirect. It was just my way to, you know, talk to God. I would have to say my favorite song is the title track, Lie to Me, and it features my artist, Julie. Um, shout out to Julie. Um, and it's a dedication to my stepdad, my brother's dad, who just recently passed away with just my conversation with him. And it's another factor, like I said, you never know when somebody's going to be gone, and that's my scariest thing. So, And another song called um, PMS, Playing My Silence, and it's just basically speaking about everything that I've kind of been dealing with between my mom and my, you know, my son's mom and just life in general just has a dad. I think it's easy because it's life. I mean, it's just like waking up in the morning, you know, you gotta brush your teeth. You don't want your breath to stink. So as far as being an artist, I'm, I'm open to speaking about things that people are afraid, but go through every day. I don't want to be like everybody else and make up stuff you know or or i can't talk about the drug life because i've never been about that so i can tell you real life stories about me being a dad being in a relationship actually being hurt hurting women myself in the past so it's easy because it's just it's real yeah we, we, him and my mom were together I, I believe when i was like three or five so i've known him my whole life you know I mean, it hurts. I, I don't deal with death good anyway, even if it's, you know, not really even. I just don't deal with death good. So especially when, when it comes down to somebody close to me, it bothers me. So it's just weird not having him around, you know, talking to him, you know. And even though he's not my dad, he's my brother's dad. And the day he was always there for me. So he always called me his son and things like that. So, but, you know, his wife is still here, Yolanda. So, you know, I got it. I would want him to I would want him to know that I fought my ass off for him and I never took no shortcuts. I did the best I could and I've always been there for him and everything I did, even if other people didn't agree with it, I did it and I did it for him. And I didn't I didn't make no excuses. When it when times is rough he never knew about him but it's life and I wasn't gonna let nobody else shortcut him and I wasn't gonna let nobody else make excuses or let no other man raise my son either. And that I love him. You're gonna look out, EP on the way. You already know what it is. I would job DNG RNT Music Group. Trap. Highway. My million dollar boy, Julie. Talk to him. Even 